Evening all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go latest releases video. And in this video we have seven new releases since I last did this video. So I'll do these videos every single week, so you make sure you subscribe for more. But we have four paid, three free. One of those free has uh, in-app purchases to unlock the full game. Uh, so it's te technically a glorified demo. But we'll check them all out, give my quick kind of opinion on each of them, so you can make the kind of decision whether they're worth your time, money and effort. So let's have a quick look. Right, first up for £1.49 or a couple of dollars or a couple of euros, we have Medical Trivia. Uh, so this is a kind of, uh, for what I can gather, uh, an app where the developers have only got one test in here at the moment, but they're looking to add more in time. So, I mean, they should do. They're saying they're going to do it, but I'll take that with a pinch of salt. So at the moment you get one test. You do get a weird headset or something kind of, hovering in front of your face if you look up. So that's something that needs to be fixed. Uh, but if we kind of click through here, we've got online training at some point coming soon. We've got the trivia shop at some point as well. We can play with the, the sound effects. And we have MQ, is that? Uh, and straight away, it kicks straight into the questions, has a timer running down the left-hand side. And here are your questions. So name of the syndrome associated with absence of the Peritoralis muscle am is it what yeah this is beyond me I don't know these sort of things I'm gonna go guess no wrong one Poland syndrome I should have known that one <laughs> uh, you can click on the right hand side to kind of uh, pause and carry on uh, but I guess if you're in this sort of thing you are looking to learn medical type stuff then maybe this is quite good but these questions are hard they don't take it easy on you the number of new cases of a given disease during a given period in a specialised population. Prevalence. No. Incidence. No, well, I don't know. So these are hard questions, but I guess, as I say, if they're going to look for me adding more, and you're in this field, you're looking to learn medical uh, trivia, then uh, this probably could be a really valuable app for you. But you let me know in the comments down below if this is the sort of thing that you would find useful. But for me, or anybody who has no idea this is just crazy if they sit to their promise of adding more content gets a thumbs up if they don't or it actually has no use for medical people then it gets a thumbs down but you let me know next up we have v speed so this is kind of like an endless runner spaceship -y type game uh you can play you can unlock different worlds by collecting things that float around in the world to unlock, unlock new worlds i've unlocked the second world uh, and let's just jump in and show you what it's about. So you choose your world, you basically use your controller to steer left and right. You can actually steer quite sharply left and right. Uh, or you can touch the uh, touchpad. If you crash into something, it crashes you. It gives you kind of your overall time. My record is 13,766 meters. So if you can beat that, let me know in the comments down below. But let's go again. See if I can go a little bit higher. Uh, but as you can see, we kind of fly across. What we're looking for is these rings. There's a blue ring ahead of us. What I would say is your spaceship feels a little bit wider than it looks like it is. So this is World 2. So things are popping up out of the ground. The the sort of waist height almost blocks in the front kind of seem like the, you'd bash into them, but you don't. Uh, you just got to watch out for the stuff coming out of the ground. Uh, if you start off in World 1, you don't get these uh, coming out of the ground to start with. You slowly build up to those. And as you kind of continue going, uh, you unlock new different levels with different sort of things going on. Uh, and just basically kind of keep going. Unlocking more points to unlock more worlds. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, what? I was miles away from that. Miles. But I don't know. Overall, what, for three quid, four dollars, four euros? It's okay. There's a fair bit to unlock. How many you got? We've got... Uh, six worlds and and then purchase. Is this an in-app thing? Oh no, I've just unlocked it. Double credits. Hey! Now I now get double credits for my things I've picked up, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so you get six worlds potentially. They're not massively different. They all look kind of similar. I've not obviously played them all, but kind of the same sort of environment. But overall, it's not bad. I'd maybe say grab this in a sale. Gets a thumbs up, but grab it in a sale maybe. Next up, we have a free app, which is a virtual darshan. Uh, I'm not going to try and uh, butcher these words and these sayings uh, to kind of explain what the actual title is, uh, but I'll leave uh, links to it down below. Uh, but as you can see, you get a sort of a room of spheres, and you're able to kind of look at them, and with gaze controls, not touch controls or anything like that with your controller, 
you load yourself into a 360 degree, relatively low quality 360 video. Uh, but I guess, I think the idea behind this is to allow people to go on these pilgrim sort of uh, locations, these tours, these sort of um, experiences without actually going there. And I think they're even sort of talking that you, know, you would maybe sort of still do your pilgrimage in VR rather than actually going sort of thing. So you do your prayers and all that sort of stuff. So interesting. It's got a massive stitch line there. But uh, as I say, it's low quality. I mean, I'm not into this, but if you're into this, let me know what you think about it. Uh, I don't think it's kind of appealing to most people, but it's an interesting app to look at anyway. And it's free, so I don't know. Uh, maybe a thumbs up. Next up, we have The Stars Between Us, which is an app I've done a dedicated video on. So I'll link that down below, up above, and all that sort of good stuff. If you want to kind of see a deeper dive. But for £5, or what's it, $7, €7, seven Euros, let's uh, click continue. Uh, it's kind of a candy crushy type game where you kind of control a globe, you spin it around. Uh, well, I forgot to reset my progress, I was all the way over there before. Uh, you get 30 levels built in the moment, I know they're looking to add more stuff. You get a little bit of story uh, as you kind of progress, you can skip through this sort of thing. Very charming little story. I do recommend uh, listening to the song that, this, this, that you get sort of at the start of the game as well. It's very cute, but basically you use your touchpad to kind of grab the, the world. And spin it around and then you use your trigger to swap things around to match them up to make them all come down and you basically got the target at the top of clouds and letters or whatever it is depending on the level uh, that you need to do so for letters you just need to match all the letters uh, that and that for the clouds you need to destroy something on top of the clouds to be able to destroy the clouds underneath if that makes sense so let's move that down there uh, there's no online leaderboards, it's not overly sort of uh, competitive or anything like that, it's quite a chilled out experience. Very well done though, very nicely done. Uh, it is a nice relaxing game if you want to chill out after playing something a bit more sort of hectic or you've had a long day at work. Uh, it gets a recommendation, uh, maybe a little bit on the higher price for an Oculus Go game of this type. Uh, but it, as I say, it is well done and they are looking to add more content as well. So. Uh, should be good value for money as and when they uh, start updating it so very cute worth your money worth your time thumbs up next up we have another game that got released just after i did the uh, last week's review um and i've done a dedicated video on this already as well so go check that out links above down below uh but it's a nice peaceful little sort of puzzle game so you use your pointer uh, the game looks pretty smart to look around uh use a touchpad to kind of choose which direction you want to go in and then click the trigger to move yourself in that direction. There is multiplayer, so you can play this online. But what you do, you basically kind of put your piece on the side, and then you can choose to put an AI, as many as you want, over there uh, on that point, and then they spawn themselves in. Let's do them all, go on, let's just go crazy, go, go ham. Put them all in. Uh, I'll put them on the easiest AI, so silly, clever, and not the hardest one. But as I say, you can play this online, so when you're ready, you bang the gong. There's uh, scripts over here you can uh, enable multiplayer, but it's a tile based game. So you kind of get a selection of tiles when it's your turn. Everyone follows the path of the tiles uh, regardless. So you put them down in front of somebody else. You can only put them down in front of your own piece, but when you get close enough, you put them down and affect other people's path. Uh, so, for, say for example, here, I can pop that down there, my white one, or grey one, because I guess that one's white. You can still move around during the entire time. Move around here, move up there. Can we move up there? There we go. I'm all the way up here. Yeah, good view. It's quite a nice, peaceful game. Now, I haven't managed to get an online game yet, uh, but let me know in the comments down below if you fancy playing some. Join my Discord at discord.remarcus.com and maybe we'll have a few games if we can. Uh, is it my go again yet? Oh no, look, you can see them moving. I'll put them all in because usually if you put them all in, it's putting down like eight pieces in one go, uh, in one turn. We should uh, speed up the game a little bit. So we can jump down here. We don't have to jump down here. Let's put that down there. You can see everyone's kind of following the path of the piece. And the idea is, in this one at least, in this game mode, is to be the last piece surviving. Because you push each other off to the edge and where you smash. There are other game modes where you got to try and be the piece that has the longest line. So you can kind of see it's colouring behind my piece wherever I go. Uh, there you go, look, it's crossed over my piece there because uh, it's coming to range of me. So we're all getting a little bit closer now. 
Uh, what's this dragon piece do? Does this do any path or no path? Can I actually kill someone? What does this do? Ah, oh, the player with the dragon tile is first in line for new ones. Oh, okay, I get new tiles first. Nice. Uh, you can kind of click on them to kind of spin them around, so you don't have to kind of put them in any particular order. The dragon one obviously you can't spin around, I guess, because <laughs> it's the dragon tile. The dragon warrior. Oh, 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 is he smashed? Oh, he's not smashed. Uh, but it is quite relaxing. You can kind of go off over here if you want to while everyone's having their own go. Go have a little sort of uh, zen moment while you're looking out here. You can swipe as well to turn around. So it's nice. We've got all sorts of moving options. Uh, you can uh, have a little look around. It's getting very tense now. Once all these spaces start filling in, everyone starts smashing. You watch. Oh, here you go. One smash. There we go. Oh, the dragon tile's gone. Uh, is it my go now? Oh, it's not my go now. Oh, it is my go now. So I don't want to smash myself. So I don't want that piece, because that's going to smash me regardless. I'm going to have to put this down. Uh, and I guess that one? Yeah, there you go. And then I push him round, he goes back round this way. And smash. Yes! Hey, you got an achievement, Bruce Lee style. Uh, so that's another person gone. Uh, and as I say, it'd be interesting to get some multiplayer games of this going. So if anybody fancies it, as I say, not hit me up on the Discord. It's not my go again, is it? Oh, I'll get to choose a piece. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, got bang the gong. Bang. Bang. There you go. Right. Means I accepted this piece because that back on myself piece was a bit limiting on what I could do. Uh, but then saying that, I'm going to get super close here. Oh, smash. And he smashed himself as well. Oh, everyone's smashing. Having a smashing good time. Oh, I've got to try and make myself go sideways, I think. From there to sideways. So I think I can just do that piece like that. There you go. That'll probably be the safest thing to do. Oh, Red's taking himself out. Nice. Whose goes it now? Is it my go? Oh, no. Oh, and they've crashed themselves. Yes. Go on, Black. Take yourself out. Go on. Was it my go? Oh, that's my go. So I think if I do that there, I should be safe. There we go. He's got to have a go. Oh, he's safe as well. Oh, now it's my go, look. So now, can I smash him before he smashes me? Hmm. So if I do that, we both start moving at the same time. Is he going to smash before me? I think he is, yes. Yes. Or does that count as a draw? Because technically, I'm still going to smash. But all the way over here. Is that a draw? Oh, I win because I have six tiles. But oh, I guess it counted as a stalemate. So, it's a fun game. Definitely gets a thumbs up. Or was it five pound? Um, no, four pound. Five dollars. Bargain. Absolutely worth it. I say, if we can get some multiplayer games going, even better. Thumbs up. Next up, we have a Czech Republic app. Where you have, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six... No, eight. <laughs> I can't count. Uh, Lowish quality videos. So let's have a quick look at some of them. Let's have a look at this one over here. Uh, they immediately load up. They're not sort of amazing quality. They could be nicer. I think this one's actually a photo. And then we've got some flying of a drone. Over. Oh, 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 where's this drone going? Oh, that's not, that's not pleasant. That, that's not pleasant. That wasn't smooth. <laughs> but, you know, if you think about going to the Czech Republic, you want to kind of have a little look around of what's available before you go there, what sort of things are like. This rundown factory. Exciting stuff. Uh, you can check it out before you go. Let's have a look at this. Maybe this looks a little bit nicer than... There you go. Oh, look at this house. Nice. Some little bit of dramatic music. Over some stately grounds, some text in the air, so you can kind of know what you're looking at. Ah, this is a lot more fluid than that. Flying over that river was a bit weird. It was like... Ugh. Yeah, so, I mean, it's free. If you think about going, why not? Download it. Thumbs up. Last and, yeah, pretty much least, we have Legacy of Death, which is free. So, for free, you get to try it out and play the first level where you kill about three zombies, and that's it. Uh, and then you can play on... And play extra levels. So the extra levels, if you want to pay them, I think they're three pound or three twenty nine or two twenty nine even. Uh, you have to kind of be stood up technically to play this, or you just actually made me jump. You fire fireballs by just pressing your button. They don't fire immediately. You've got to kind of wait. If you look down, 
you get your manual bar come up, your mana will run out, and I will guarantee you'll end up just running away from things. Oh, and I just clicked the main menu by mistake. Uh, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, I wouldn't say, I mean, the game kind of looks quite good. It looks promising. It actually looks kind of interesting, but the actual sort of gameplay itself is very sort of linear, very static. And like, here we go, you're gonna jump up again. Shoot. You can't really avoid things as well. It's like you're backing up here, like he's gonna hit you. Every time he's gonna hit you. And I'm out of mana now. So now all I can do is run through him and keep and just letting him hit me. And let's go this way. I say so ideally you wanna be stood up playing. I've played, this is one of the paid levels, so I paid to unlock it. Um oh and there's more that's three, four guys. I've just gotta keep running. Just keep going. Something sparkly. I've got something. Oh, is that mana? Can I fight back? I can fight back. But I'm somehow going to die because this is just ridiculous. So, is this worth your money? No, it is not very good. I mean, in theory, it could be quite good fun. Oh, now I'm climbing on top of this thing. Oh, no, I'm opening the menu. By looking down, you open the menu. Uh, how much mana have I got? I'm almost out of mana again. And I'm dead. So, does it get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? It gets a thumbs down. It's not very good. I think uh, play the tutorial, play the first level. If you like it, maybe get it, but I don't recommend it. I can't get past these levels because you run out of mana so fast. You can't hit them with your wand or anything like that. You can get that mana from that pool there, but it's just, yeah, it, it just, I don't know. It needs a bit more work, so thumbs down overall. So there we go. There's this week's new releases. So seven titles. I'd say definitely the standout ones are The Stars Between Us, which is a fun, sort of cute sort of puzzler. Uh, if you fancy that, grab that. And then Tesoro, The Game of the Path. Uh, very polished, very nice, very relaxing, and kind of a fun little game. And I think if we've got some, as I say, some multiplayer games going, so discord.remarkus.com, let me know when you're free, and hopefully we can catch up and get, have some games going. Because if we can get eight people in there, including myself, uh, I think that'd be quite a cool little thing to do. And maybe I'll do a live stream on it, because I haven't done a live stream in ages. So let's do a Tesoro live stream. Hmm, sounds like fun. But let me know what you think about all these new releases in the comments down below. Which ones you're picking up? Are you going to ignore them all? Are you going to pick them all up? Let me know. As I say, I do these videos every single week, and I intend to do this something similar with the Oculus Quest when it comes out. So make sure you subscribe for that sort of thing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why I didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.